If there's one thing Taylor Swift's known for, it's for putting out great songs about her illustrious collection of exes. Calvin Harris managed to cling onto her for longer than anyone else, and her fling with Tom Hiddleston was the weirdest part of the summer of 2016. If you want to find out all about Taylor's dating history, you need to look no further than the five very telling studio albums she put out since 2008. But we've compiled it all into one messy glory for you in this video. It all begins with Joe Jonas, who has since gone from this. Yo, listen to me. I got two feet walking down the street with my degree. To this. Just take my hand and hear the words I say. The pair would only last from July to October of 2008, ending with what must have been a very fast paced 25 second phone call courtesy of Joe. But that's the rule, right? Eight seconds or so for every month that you've been dating. Huh? I'm not even gonna be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. But leave it to Taylor to bounce back quick. Her You Belong With Me video became all too real when Taylor fell for co-star Lucas Till, who unfortunately only saw her as a friend. No happy ending there. But the story was a bit different with Taylor Lautner, who she met on the set of the 2010 film Valentine's Day in August of 2009. Yes. Wow. I haven't seen moves like that since the 94 Northridge quake. You guys are... Oh. They would never get their own Valentine's Day, however, because the pair split that December. Taylor was back in the game before you knew it. Rumors started to get around that her and the much older John Mayer were getting around following their duet on Mayer's recently released Battle Studies. Unfortunately, the song would prove to be a prophecy as the couple were through by the following February, which inspired some pretty biting words from Taylor, delivered as usual via her music. Taylor told Glamour that she thinks John Mayer is being presumptuous about the fact that Dear John was even written about him. Despite her denial, Mayer was definitely not a fan of that one and made that fact very clear in his 2012 Rolling Stone interview, saying it's abusing your talent to rub your hands together and go, wait till he gets a load of this. Well, that's actually what she did, and she would do the same following an equally brief relationship with the also much older Jake Gyllenhaal. I have to help you with it. It is actually Gyllenhaal. Yeelan, hello. There it is. Jill and Hull could only make it work with Taylor for three months, and he is not as hot on the topic as Howard Stern is. Again, this is me stepping in. I think you should have married Taylor Swift. Oh, jeez. And I'll tell you why. Why? What a power couple. <laughs> that's why I Oh, that's it. the reason. And I'm super to attracted to her. Jill and Hull have made it quite clear in the past that he's not so keen to revisit his Swift months. And she apparently isn't either. He is allegedly the inspiration behind her 2010 hit, we're never getting back together. After Jill and all, Taylor was rumored to have had flings with Owl City singer Adam Young, Glee actor Cord Overstreet, Les Miserables co-star Eddie Redmayne, and Zac Efron. Her and Zac met on the set of The Lorax, the film they were shooting. They wanted everyone to know that they were not an item. However, there is this. Every single time I come on this show, it's really weird. next dude was a little off the beaten path. She allegedly came on too strong for Connor Kennedy, the grandson of Robert F. Kennedy, nephew of John F. Kennedy. Now, um, well, they only dated from July of 2012 to October of 2012, but that makes sense because Taylor has a skill for keeping her relationships under the 90-day deadline. She wouldn't even make it that long with Harry Styles, as the pair were Hollywood's hot couple for just two months between December 2012 and January 2013. Despite how short of a time they were linked together, Harry supposedly inspired most of the tracks on Swift's 1989 album, as well as this brief attempt at a British accent. I still love you. The month after Taylor and Harry went out of style, she met DJ Calvin Harris at the L Style Awards, and things quickly heated up from there. Soon enough, they were kissing at Kenny Chesney's concerts and strolling down red carpets together, and would go on to do so for 15 months. That's five times longer than anything else on Taylor's dating resume, so we give her kudos for that. Despite the longevity of the relationship, Taylor seemed to bounce back quick because she was frequently spotted on the arm of Tom Hiddleston throughout last summer. Now a lot of people were saying that their romance was a publicity stunt, whatever it was, it didn't last long. And by September of 2016, the two were broken up, with Hiddleston's friends claiming he has his own three month rule to match Taylor's. Well, there's no winning there. Uh... 
<laughs> well, um, yeah. Um. That seems to be most men's reactions when asked about their time with Taylor. Doesn't mean I wouldn't give it a whirl. We actually have made it before they're famous on Taylor Swift, so be sure to check that video out. My name is Michael McCrudden. We have other videos just like this here on this channel and my main one, so be sure to check those out. Hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!